Joining our conversation now, Washington Post national political reporter and MSNBC political analyst Robert Costa joins David Plouffe, Tim Miller and Aaron Haynes. Um, four of you just should talk amongst yourselves. You don't need me. Bob Costa, talk about what, Phil, what um, the, this Obama stop in Philadelphia and what Pennsylvania means for both sides. Where you're seeing President Obama is the city of Philadelphia, but he's also making an overture to those voters in the collar counties around Philadelphia, places like Bucks County and Berks County. And President Trump's trip to Erie, Pennsylvania is politically revealing. In the closing weeks of the presidential campaign, he's not there with Senator Pat Toomey of Pennsylvania, a Republican who has appeal mm. in the suburbs because of his work on gun reform. He's not appearing with Brian Fitzpatrick a moderate Republican in the House of Representatives. Instead, it's him on the stage espousing his own grievances, talking to his core voters. And it's not a competition for the suburban voter in the traditional way. I remember George W. Bush mm -hmm. uh, during his presidential runs would always go to Bucks County, not necessarily Western and Central Pennsylvania during the closing weeks. It was about the suburbs. But President Trump's whole strategy is rev up the turnout in the West in the center and hope that's enough. And don't forget about northeastern Pennsylvania. There's a reason both campaigns keep going back there. Mm -hmm. It's Biden's home territory, uh, but it matters so much. If, if Biden's going to be doing well in the suburbs and in the cities, he needs to also do well with union Democrats in the northeast. Robert Costa, I love your um, brilliant knowledge about all of these nooks and crannies of such an important state. But can I just ask you, what the hell is going on with the Trump White House? I mean, what are they doing? What, what is how come no one can get him to attack his opponent? He's been a um, three day bender over Tony Fauci. He's running some bizarre Twitter war against Leslie Stahl in 60 Minutes, an interview he was hardly coerced into doing. I'm sure he asked for it. He's lashing out at Bill Barr for not prosecuting this opponent. What is what do they say is behind all this? Well, I have a, a few sources inside the campaign and in the White House. And in short, here's how they describe it. They would rather have President Trump on the road going to rallies because it takes sometimes two to three hours to travel there, an hour or two on stage behind the scenes and two or three hours to travel back. They prefer to see him on the road, even if it has this image, as Tim was talking about, of a super spreader event, because that keeps him away from stewing at the White House, from tweeting all day, from going in different directions. They don't really have a coherent closing message. They're trying to get him to talk about his record, not necessarily always about uh, the Hunter Biden situation, uh, but they're, they're not really able to control Control their own candidate. That's not a new story nearly four years into this presidency. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.